understand vile moto wa Mungu huu unafanya kazi vile unafaa kuwaka moto kwa kila hali Ah, kuna pepo zingine kuna magonjo mengine hata kuna nguvu kwako. So nataka unifuatilie kwa makini sana. Maana kuna mambo muhimu sana nataka kukuelezea. Najua kwamba uti ana kili kabisa ya kuingie ili uelewe kwa kila kitu na tutabarikiwa. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa hivyo mahali popote ulipo karibu sana wale bwana tufuata mahali popote wada ni kwa Facebook we love you so much. Karibuni sana to some pamoja so get your bible in the book of exodus chapter number 3 verse number 1 exodus chapter number 3 and verse number 1 exodus chapter number 3 verse number 1 the mystery of the fire of god the mystery of the fire of god nitakuonyesha mambo sita you need to understand about the fire of god alafu nitakupea benefits kumi za moto wa Mungu benefits kama kumi za moto wa Mungu and i believe huu mwezi lazima utatangaza the fire of god so exodus chapter number 3 and verse number 1 tusome pamoja kama watu ambao wanawaka moto eh hey, 1 2 now moses was tending the flock of jethro his father in law the priest of I thank God for Moses by the way. Bina sema kwamba yeye mwenyewe alikuwa ni shepherd na anachunga mbuzi kondoo wa babake Father in Ro. Na Father in Ro bina sema kwamba alikuwa ni priest of media. I thank God manake my father still in high priest not just priest my father ni high priest. Ni vyema sana ku understand. Na akichunga bibi bina sema kwamba alikuwa kwa jangwa. Hebu tuendele mahali pale and he did what? He did what? The flock to the far side of the desert and came to By the way, there are Horeb, we need to call Horeb the mountain of God. Horeb that name is not a good name. Si jina mzuri. Si jina bona yaza ita mahari. Si jina lina ka nzuri sana kwa sababu jina Horeb means destruction. Ina maanisha kwamba it is a barren place. Ni mahari pa mekauka. But we need to call that was the mountain of God. Verse number 2 now. <laughs> there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in frames of fire from within a bush i thank god for that mimi nasema kwamba the angel of god akaja kwa kichaka kilikuwa mahali pale na alikuja mahali pale kama moto alikuja kama moto hebu tusome moses saw that though the bush was on fire it did not burn it is my prayer in this month of november you be on fire in the name of jesus christ wakati unafanya kazi yako you be on fire wakati unaabudu you be on fire wakati unainua mikono na kuomba you be on fire na hakuna kitu kizuri kama mtu ambaye anawaka moto wa mungu mimi nasema kwamba kulikuwa na kitaka kile kitaka kilikuwa na moto but hakikuwa kinatomeka so elewa ya kwamba moses was in the desert na kwa jangwa ni kawaida mioto kuonekana so that was normal but tofauti ambayo ilikuwa mahali pale ni kwamba kuna kitaka kina moto but hakitomeki kuna kwamba nimeona vitaka vikitomeka but hiki ni tofauti kina moto na hakitomeki do you know kwamba that's now your level do you know unafaa kuwa hivyo kama vile kitaka kina moto na hakitomeki na wewe unafaa kubeba moto wa roho mtakatifu na hauchomeki and I declare november in the utaenda utatembea na moto wa bwana in the name of jesus follow me closer now angalia next verse Verse number 3 eh So Moses thought eh eh So kwa nini anakaribia mahali pale? <laughs> Ni nini kinafanya Moses akaribie? Ni kwa maana ameona moto. So wakati kile kitaka kina moto, Moses aliamua lazima atakaribia mahali pana moto. I want to declare this month of November wakati utawaka moto kuna connections zinakuja. Moses alikaribia moto. Maana kila mtu anapenda moto. So ukiwa on fire, kuna watu ambao baba atakuletea, kuna connections baba ataleta. Kwa hivyo alikaribia mahali pana moto. Kanisa tukiwa kama moto, hatutaambia watu wakuje, watu watakuja kwa maana tumewaka moto. Praise us wakiwa kama moto mahali hapa. Kuna watu ambao watakuwa wanapita pale, wanasikia au oh, watu wanaabudu wakuwa na moto, lazima wataingia. May you be on fire the month of November in Jesus name. Amen. Kile kilifanya Moses akaribie, ni kwa maana aliona moto, na akaona ule moto si wa kawaida. Akaona kwamba wacha nikajionee ule moto na akaenda. Dembo mnasema kwamba kati alienda sasa 
kuna kitu ambacho kilitendeka Mungu akamnenea so sina haja na hayo mambo amesemwa pale hayo ni mahubiri ya siku ingine bali mimi nataka kuegemea hapa alikaribia moto kuna kitaka kilikuwa na moto bali hakikuwa kinachomeka na from there ukisoma bible utaelewa kwamba Mungu anajionyesha yeye mwenyewe kama moto from me angalia another verse angalia another verse here don't miss this one now angalia Leviticus chapter number 6 Leviticus chapter number 6 and verse number 12. Leviticus chapter number 6 and verse number 12. Tu some pamoja 1 2 The fire on the altar must be kept burning. <laughs> It must not go every the priest is to add fire wood and arrange the burnt offering on the fire. Hey. By the Mungu alikuwa anapenda moto sana. And that's why kwa madhabahu yako alikuwa anasema kwamba kwa madhabahu yangu kusuae kosekana moto. Kila time kwa madhabahu yangu lazima kukuwe na moto. Ni Mungu anasema kwa madhabahu yake lazima kuwake moto. And that's my prayer. We need madhabahu inawaka moto. Tunahitaji wadada ambao wanawaka moto. Madhabahu ikiwaka moto kuna pepo hazitowai karibia mahali pale. Kuna uchawi hauwezi karibia pale. Manake madhabahu yanawaka moto. So Mungu alikuwa amesema madhabahu yake kila wakati yawe yanawaka moto. And don't forget this. Ule moto wa madhabahu ni Mungu alikuwa anaupeana. Na akiupeana ilikuwa sasa ni kazi ya priest kuhani mtu. Angalia ule moto usizimike. Maana kwa unaweza zimika. Angalia nao. Follow me now. Na the foundation Leviticus 9:24. Leviticus 9:24. Leviticus chapter number 9 verse number 24 angalia. Bwana anasema namna gani? Fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed the burnt offering. So wakati kuhani walikuwa naenda na toa wana toa burnt offering mahali pale. Mungu alikuwa analeta moto. Si kuhani alikuwa anahakisha moto. Mungu alikuwa analeta moto wake toka juu mbinguni. Lakini Mungu akileta moto toka juu mbinguni ilikuwa ni kazi ya kuhani kuhakikisha kwamba ile moto haitazimika. Angalia mwanzo kama bii umepewa moto. Bali usikubali moto uzimike. Are you hearing what I'm saying? ukiokoka unapewa moto but kuna tofauti ya kupewa moto na kukubali ule moto uzimike so ni Mungu alikuwa anapeana moto na akipeana moto kwa madhabahu anasema naye kuhani angalie ule moto uko kwa madhabahu usiwaizimika watu wangapi wamezima moto Watu wangapi walikuwa wanajitolea kwa ajili ya Mungu? Watu wangapi walikuwa na abudu? Watu wangapi walikuwa wanafunga? But nowadays they don't fast. Moto ulizimika. Angalia vile Paulo alisema tafadhali. Angalia First Corinthians. Uh, uh, first Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter number 5. First Thessalonians chapter number 5. First Thessalonians chapter number 5. Oh, First Thessalonians chapter number 5 and verse number 19. First Thessalonians chapter number 5 and verse number 19 the bible says 1 2 3 to some pamoja 1 2 3 soma kwa nguvu 1 2 3 do not put out the spirit is fire soma tena 1 2 meaning roho mtakatifu akija ndani yako anakupea nini talk to me roho mtakatifu akija ndani yako anakupea nini moto but unaweza zima moto wa roho That's why Paul akiandikia wa Thessaloniki anaambia kwamba wasiwezi zima moto wa roho meaning unaweza zima moto wa roho As it if unaandikia wa Thessaloniki na naambia kwamba wasiwezi zima moto wa roho kumaanisha kwamba unaweza zima moto wa roho it is my prayer ya kwamba hata ikiwa moto wako ulikuwa na kaka na kwamba unazimika after this sermon anza kuwaka tena in Jesus name If you kwa naomba 2 hours, anza kuomba 3 hours. If you kwa naomba 4 hours, anza kuomba 5 hours. Why? Umeanza kuwaka moto. Now my question, umezima moto au bado uko na moto? Has it been? That's why Paul anaandika kwa Thessalonike, anaambia kwamba msiwezi zima moto wa roho. Kumaanisha kwamba moto wa roho unaweza zimwa. Angalia vile Paul anasema, angalia another verse. Angalia Revelation 3 verse number 16. Revelation 3 verse number 16. I'm laying foundation. Before ni kuonyesha kwamba moto kwa Bible unasimamia nini. Before ni kuja hapo. Revelation 3 verse number 16. Hoga rabo koza. Soma pamoja 1 to 3. Kanisa la Laodicea. 
Mungu akiongea na Simon Magani so because you are lukewarm neither hot no anasema namna gani I'm about to spit you out of my so hili ni kanisa si baridi na si moto na ukumbuka kwamba Mungu hataki kanisa baridi <laughs> Mungu anataka kanisa limejaa moto Mungu anataka wamama wamejaa moto, wazee wamejaa moto, wazee ambao wana moto wa Roho Mtakatifu, wamama ambao wana moto wa Roho Mtakatifu. So bila sema kwamba Rhodesia hawakuwa na moto, walikuwa wako hapa katikati. Now let me ask you, do you still have the fire? Are you on fire? Are you still on fire? Let me show you now. Angalia another verse here. Ah, like this one, Marova Kete Malaba. Don't miss this one now. <laughs> Romans chapter number 2 verse number 11 Romans chapter number 2 verse number 11 Romans chapter number 2 verse number 11 The fire Who alafu alafu eh, tusaidie vizuri sana niweke amplified bible niweke amplified bible maana amplified bible ina put vizuri sana hebu tusome 1 2 3 Never do never do what in what and in eh uh, and be and what Burning with it. Eh? Eh? So, ukitumikia okay, mungu nafaa kufanya na managani, kuwa unawaka moto. Let me ask, angeli mwezi kumulisi, unawaka moto, wakati unatumikia buwana. Are you on fire, wakati unatumikia buwana. So, Paul ya nandikia warumi tena, anamia kuma, any time you serve, unafaa kuwaka moto. Any time you serve, unafaa, in your spirit, uwake moto. Baba naomba kwa kile mtu baya kwa hapa. Na wale bwana nifuatilie mpaka kwa Facebook. Wacha waanze kuwaka moto in Jesus mighty name. Any time unatumika kwa nyumba ya bwana, yani una moto unakuambia tumika. Una moto unakusukuma hata ukisikia kana kwamba kuna mazito, kuna ule moto unakusukuma the fire of God. Angalia hii verse. Second Timothy chapter number 1 verse number 6. Hai. La cosa bakarila. Second Timothy chapter number 1 verse number 6. Oh, bakosa. Okay, tuweke amplified bado. Tuweke amplified. Second Timothy 1 verse 6. Tusome pamoja. Oh, I like it. Angalia. That's why I would remind you to stir up into bracket do what? Rikido the of what? And do what? Fan the frame of and keep and keep so Paul ya nabia timo the namna gani keep bani agri mwaza kumabia keep bani agri mwaza kumabia keep bani endelea kuwaka so alikuwa na una timo the timo the ameanza kuzimika alikuwa na una timo the mahali hapa ameanza kuzimika maybe vile ulikuwa serious na mungu mwato ameanza kuzimika maybe ata vile ulikuwa na tifungo ameanza kuzimika it's my prayer Keep burning in the name of Jesus Christ. Angeli na someone mlegani. The gracious gift of God. The inner. The inner. The inner. Angeli mazo mambi ya dani yako kuna moto. Dani yako kuna moto. The inner fire. Any believer. Dani yake kuna moto. Na ule moto na umskuma. Ile gift iko nani yako. Iyo gift inafaa kuwa kamoto. Kwa sabu kila mtu ana gift. Na hiyo gift inafai wake moto. So Timo the ana gift yake. But hame kwama kuheria mwito wake. Anabiyo kwamba awake moto ile hili ya metiwa. Maneke kila mtu ana karama. No tukifika heaven no taulizo. Kwa hii karama urifanya nini na nini. It's my prayer. Ya kwamba the inner fire. Itaendelea kuwaka in Jesus mighty name. Wata watu kikuangalia. Wanaona sister unawaka moto. Wanaona brother unawaka moto. Hivyo divyo nambiwa. Nanambiwa kwa bari pokea. That is in you. By means of laying on of hearts. With those of. That's it. So kuna moto dani yake. Ya yote ya bana nisikiza na nifuatilia. Kuna moto dani yako. Na ule moto uneza zimika. Angali another verse now. Muhimu sana. Look at this. And. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. This one is very important. Angalia, Isaiah that one verse number nine. Isaiah that one verse number nine. My good God, Isaiah that one verse number nine. Isaiah that one verse number nine. To some 
they are stronghold ni asiri wanaambiwa wanaambiwa kwamba the stronghold we will because of eh uh, at site of the battle eh uh, declares the lord hapo ndipo nataka patia mwisho whose whose fire is in whose fire is in eh uh, so where is the fire of god talk to me where is the fire of god in zion where are you Mungu anasema kwamba moto wake unakuwa Zion. Then Hebrews 2 verse number 22, you have come upon Mount Zion. So meaning tuko Zion, na Zion ni mahali pa moto. So if Zion ni mahali pa moto, na wewe uko Zion, unafaa kuwaka au haufai kuwaka? Angalia mwanzo kumwambia waka moto sasa. Angalia mwanzo kumwambia waka moto sasa. Alafu mwambie amen yako inakaa na kwamba inahitaji moto kidogo. The problem of Peter the reason why Peter denied Jesus ni baridi Soma Bible Aliye na Bible nasema kulikuwa na baridi akaona mahali pa metengenezo moto na akaenda kukaribia mahali pa wana moto then kukawa kuna watu ambao wako mahali pale ako pamoja na wako moto strange Katika ule moto sasa aka deny Jesus fire The Bible is so clear in Zion kuna moto na si tuko Zion meaning tumeitwa kuwa kamoto dada ukiwa kwa nyumba yani mzee anakuangalia anaona kwamba wewe ni dada wa fire that's it maana ke unawa kamoto kweria yani hata kusoma bible unawa kamoto sasa kuambia watu wainua mikono but i know kuna watu ambao hawajasoma bible the whole of this week angalia mzee kumuliza niona ambiwa anataka hata kuidi kusoma bible uwake moto let me show you something angalia another verse hapa before nikupea mwa bwana nataka kukupea kwa haraka sana ha, now look at this exodus 13:21 exodus 13:21 makore la kali bahaza hey jesus natangaza watu waanze kuwaka moto Aha, angalia nao 1 2 3 wana wa Israeli kwa jangwa kuna kile ambacho bina sema kwamba Mungu alikuwa anafanya alikuwa anafanya namna gani by the day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of to guide them on the earth and by night in a pillar of eh that's it to give them light so nisiki usiku alikuwa anaongoza na pillar of fire kumaanisha namna gani Mungu anajitanisha na moto He was a pillar of fire. Angalia hivi, angalia hivi. Nakuja hapo. Wakati alishuka pale Mount Sinai, alikuja na moto. Mount Sinai, alikuja na moto. Alikuja na moto. Bara kuna hivi sasa nataka. Don't miss this one now. Angalia Jeremiah. Chapter number 5 verse number 14. Jeremiah 5 verse number 14. Jeremiah chapter number 5 verse number 14. Look at this. Woo! Hebu tusome pamoja. Therefore this is what the Lord God Almighty says. Eh. Because the people have spoken these words. Eh. I will make my words in your mouth are. Eh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And that's what some Bible neno la Mungu limeganishwa na moto. So anytime you speak the word of God You are speaking the fire. That's when if you must if kuna hali na kusumbua speak the word. Maana the word of God is fire. So if kuna magonjwa na kusumbua ukinena neno la Bwana kwa magonjwa kile ambacho unafanya unatoma yale magonjwa. Maana ke neno lile unatamka ni moto neno la Mungu ni moto. If you be been sema. Now angalia angalia about Jesus. Let me show you about Jesus before ni kuje. So angalia Jeremiah 23:29. Jeremiah 23:29 Oh my good God eh eh Ebu tusome Is not my word like So goja kidogo kwa hivyo wakati unapokea neno la Mungu unapokea nini fire So if unasikika na komba moto wako wa kiroho unapungua you need more of the word Maana the word of God energizes you wakati unapokea neno la Bwana moto wako wa kiroho unazidi kuwa juu that's why it is very important kusikiza neno la Bwana 
maana kana na Bwana ni moto na inafanya uanze kuwaka that's why unaweza kuja kwenye ibada ulikuwa umeishiwa bado ukitoka kwa mlango umepokea moto maana kile ile neno limekupea moto maana kile neno la Mungu ni moto ndani yako it is my prayer after this word ukitoka mahali pale hautaweko baridi na mapepo hautaweko baridi na magodwa utawaka moto because of the word of god that's it angalia hii verse look at this hii ni muhimu sana look to 49 Look to over 49. Oh my god. Thank you. Look to off. Look to off. 49 eh? Jesus Christ akiongea na sema magani. I have come to bring what? Fire on earth eh? Anasema analeta moto. Get that? Anasema analeta moto. Remember John wakati alikuwa anabatiza watu na maji alisema kwamba mimi naumbatiza na maji but kuna mwingine ambaye anakuja ataumbatiza na roho na moto mark that ataumbatiza na roho na moto then you remember pale upper room what happened upper room what happened when disciples were praying walipojazwa na roho mtakatifu mimi nasema kwamba tongues kwa kichwa wa vichwa vyao vilikuwa vinakaa moto tongues of fire kovicho vyao kulikuwa na tanks of fire meaning walipewa moto walijazwa na roho mtakatifu na wakapewa moto kumaanisha kwamba watu ambao wamejazwa na roho mtakatifu ni watu ambao wanatembea na moto wa Bwana how i pray wanalika watatembea na moto wa Bwana how i pray wamama na wazee watembee na moto wa Bwana ukiwa na moto wa Bwana utakuonyesha kuna mambo hayatakusumbua Mana kwa the wand of God is fire. God himself anadirganisha na moto. Roho mtakatifu akija kwako anaweka moto. So pale kwa hapa room. Thank you my brother. Hebu tusome they saw what this seems to be what. So hebu 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 weka hapo juu kidogo kila mtu aone. Weka hapo juu kidogo kila mtu aone. Eh. Sudden a sound like a eh came from eh and feel the whole house where the way are sitting eh eh tanks of fire that separated and came to rest on so meaning what wali does on a moto ah that's why watu bwana anatumiwa na mungu sana kuna wakati unaweza omba ukiomba maombi uweze kusikia ni kana kwa maombi yako unachomeka usikie kana kwa mikono yako inachomeka Unaomba unasikia kana kwamba mikono yako inatomeka na wakati kama ule ukuwekelea mikono mtu ambaye amegojeka anapokea uponyaji unafikiri kana kwamba mkono wako unatomeka why it is a fire of god it is a fire of god kuna time jeremiah alisema kwamba anajaribu kunyamaza hawezi nyamaza maana kanena ro mungu kwa mifupa yake ni moto imagine akikaa pale lile neno ni moto kwake hawezi nyamaza maana kwa wakati unawaka moto ukijaribu kumaza kunyamaza hawezi because of that fire na mimi nataka november tuanze na moto wa bwana chochote utakuwa kifanya utakuwa ukifanya na moto wa mungu in the name of jesus christ so nataka unisikize nao oh, maana sasa that was introduction kuna mambo nafaa kuelewa mambo sita about the fire <laughs> Mambo sita ambayo Biblia inasema kwamba moto unasimamia mambo sita kwa Bible. So wakati tunaongea pasi unasema moto moto ni nini? Eh hey, moto moto ni nini? So kuna mambo sita unafaa kuelewa yanasimamiwa na moto. So now we are talking of the fire of God. Kuna mambo sita Bible imetaja. Mambo sita Bible imetaja. So wakati tunaongea juu ya moto utaelewa ni nini naongea. Sema bai basi unatobia moto sasa hiyo ni nini moto ati moto ah 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 relax number one. <laughs> number one. moto unasimamia nini number one. the presence of god the presence of god it represents god's presence with his people god's presence with his people so wakati tunaongea juu ya fire moto unasimamia the presence of god That's why come out in Exodus man to some Exodus 1321 Exodus 1321 Exodus 1321 Ebu to some 1 2 3 Exodus 1321 Hasamaje by the day the Lord by the day who who went ahead of them Talk to me who went ahead of them by the day the Lord went ahead of them in a 
I had to guide them on the earth. And by night in a pillar. So that pillar of fire. It could not be what the presence of God. So wakiwa kwa jango ati kwa ni usiku. As long as they, they can see the pillar of fire. Wana tuwa na mwana gani? God, the presence of God is with us. So we can't talk about the fire. We are talking of the presence of God. It is my prayer. Yeah, come by the month of November. You will enjoy the presence of God in your life. You will enjoy the presence of God. You will enjoy the presence of God. So when we are talking of the fire of God, we are talking of the presence of God. That's it. That's what you are talking about. Mungu akiapia kwa wana wa Israeli kwa Old Testament alikuwa anapia kwa moto. Maana kwa moto unasimamia the presence of God. Kwa hivyo wakati tunasema kwamba unawaka moto, tunasema kwamba uwepo wa Mungu una manifest. The more unawaka moto, the more the presence of God na manifest in your life. Maana the fire speaks of the presence. May you keep on burning the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare be on fire. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Because the fire speaks of the presence of God. That's number one. Number two. Number two. <laughs> fire speaks of what? God's protection. Speaks of God's protection of his people. God's protection. Wakatu nonge do your fire of God. We speaks of God protection. Zechariah chapter number 2 verse number 5. God's protection. Wakati tunasema kwamba moto wa Mungu, tunasema about the protection of God. The protection of God. Hebu tusome pamoja 1 2 3. Soma kwa nguvu 1 2 3. And I myself will you be a wall of fire around. Eh eh. Mungu anasema namna gani atakuwa a wall of fire. So wakati tunasema kwamba uko na moto wa Bwana, tunasema kwamba you have the protection of God. And I declare the month of November, may you enjoy the divine protection because of the fire of God. May the fire of God protect your family. May the fire of God protect your children in Jesus mighty name. Maana kwa moto wa Mungu unatulinda. Wakijaribu kukupiga hawakuwezi. Mimi nasema kwamba I myself will be a wall of fire around it. Mungu alikuwa anaongea juu ya Jerusalem. Wakati huo anaongea Jerusalem already kuta zimebomolewa, milango imebomolewa. But nasema kwamba ni mimi nitakuwa kama kuta la moto. Ni mimi nitawazunguka kama moto. So anytime maadui wanataka kuingia, hawawezi penetrate watakuta nani? Mungu ambaye amekaa kama moto. Na mimi nimetangaza Mungu arinde familia yako na moto in Jesus mighty name. Watawi magodwa, kansa ikijaribu kuingia inakuta Mungu kama moto. Kansa inatomwa na moto. Maana nyumba yako imezungukwa na kuta la moto. May you enjoy the fire of Oh. So wakati unaweka kazi yako mahali pale na umezungukwa na kuta la moto kuna watu wenye wivu wako pale but Mungu amekuzunguka kama kuta la moto kwa hivyo watakuweza au hawatakuweza na wakikuambia mambo haya yatakuweza na wakisema itaisha itaisha why they cannot penetrate mahali Mungu amekaa maana ke Mungu ni ukuta wa moto kwako how i wish kuna wa mama ambao wana nguvu wanajua kwamba the month of november god is my wall of fire around my life case closed ni nini gini na kustua na kawa na wasiwasi hata watoto wako wakati amko pamoja na i know sai kuna wasiwasi na shugai sasa watoto wakirena na masomo kutaidaji Umefanya pati yako huko kugine Mungu atalinda watoto wako. That's it. Na si watoto tu. Paka bibi yako, paka bwanako, paka wazazi wako. So wakati tunaongea about the fire of God, tunaongea juu ya protection of God. Number 3. Number 3. Number 3. Wakati tunaongea juu ya moto Mungu tunaongea about the Moto unasimamia God's cleansing power ile Mungu kuosha wakati tunasema juu ya moto tunge juu ya kuoshwa na Mungu kutakazwa na Mungu kutakazwa na Mungu Malachi 3 verse 2 Malachi 3 verse 2 don't miss this one Malachi 3 verse 2 
Malachi 3 verse number 2. Hebu tusome pamoja 1 2 3. But who can endure the day of his coming? Eh? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a reviner's fort. Fire or that's a thing. Wakati tunongea juu ya moto tunongea kwa moto ambao unaondoa kile kimbaya ndani yako. Juu ya kuoshwa, kuondolewa kile you've been refined. If kuna mawazo mabaya, moto unachoma mawazo mabaya you've been refined by the fire. Been refined, you've been purified by the fire. So wakati tunongea kwamba unawaka moto, you've been purified by the fire. Maana kuna simamia purification. Number 4. Number 4. Fire represent God's judgment. Moto na represent God's judgment kwa Bible still. Bado moto unasimamia God's judgment. God's judgment. Na nivyema sana wanasana kuna judgment aina mbili. Kuna zile judgment. Kuna ile judgment itakuta kwa tombo meokoka. Ile judgment ya ile kazi wanafanya. But kuna ile judgment itakuta watombo ni wenye thambi. Watu wabonu wenye thambi. Watenda kwenye white throne judgment. Dambi zao wana hukumiwa. Kwa sababu wa kukubari kristo mbaya ni hukumiwa kwa jena dambi zao. So wata hukumiwa dambi zao kwa sababu. Wata hukumiwa nisikize. Wata hukumiwa kutuwa mini ya kwamba dambi zao zidi ondoro kwa msanaba. <laughs> That's that. But kuna ile judgment now. Ya ile kazi unafanya. Ile kazi ya bo unafanya. Lazima ita hukumiwa. So when we are talking of fire. Tunungia kwa makile ya mbato hakifai kwako kina kuwa kina hukumiwa in your life. Lide jamu harifai li na hukumiwa. Maneke motu wa mungu na simamia judgment. Another thing. Uh, number. Number five. Wakati nungia juu ya motu mwana. The fire of God speaks of what? God's divine an- enablement. Enablement. You have been enabled. Unasaidiwa kufanya jabu frani. <sighs> Shakura by God's divine enablement. That's why Act chapter number 2 verse 1 and 4. Act chapter number 2 matendo mitume mbili moja mpakane disciples waliyemboko bo wasieda kuhubili but wakai jeruza mpaka wajazu na roho mtakatifu wabwana. So moto wa roho mtakatifu wabwana uripo kuja juu yao. Kile ambato hawangefanya wakakifanya. Mahari wange kuwama sasa hawata kuwama. Maneke wanasaidiwa kufanya na moto wabwana. So moto wabwana na kusaidia kufanya. Divine enablement. May you operate without fire in your life in Jesus name. And on the last point, the last point number six. It represents what? God's gracious activity in the assembly of people. God's gracious activity. God's gracious activity. In the assembly of his people. Isaiah chapter number 4 verse number 5. Isaiah chapter number 4 verse number 5. Hai shakura rakinda. Zapoketa marivo sota kaya. Tusome pamoja. One, two, three. Then the Lord will create over all of mouth. And over those who are crowned. By day and eh, over that's a thing. Ni ni wapo bo na no ni akina na ni bo na pe wa moto mahari pale Zion. Why? It is as kony ili activity ili kazi unafanya unasaidiwa na nema ya bo na moto wa mungu na unasaidiwa na nema ya bo na yonekane koko kazi yako. And it is my prayer. Ya kwa moto wa mungu to kusaidiwa ili kazi unafanya moto wa mungu kusaidiwa kufanya. So hayo ni mabosita. Ukisomo kwa Bible, moto unasimamiwa na yale mabosita. But now, wacha ni kuambie benefits. Kuna inasema kwa bono fire, you need the fire of God. Ni, ni benefit gani itapokea? Moto wa mungu dani yako na kusaidia na mna gani? Moto wa mungu na kusaidia na mna gani? Na don't forget, wakati na receive word, you receive fire, manaka inano na mungu ni moto. Wakati umiokoka, you receive fire, manaka who respect is fire. Jesus Christ is fire, God is fire, you receive that. But who ni benefit can in a pokea? Oh my god, don't miss this one. Number one. <laughs> Fire of God gives you taste. Kai pastor, ni nini yo eh? Mark 9, verse number 49. Mark 9, verse number 49. 
Angalia hii verse. Sio kana kwa bosa hiyo yona eh. Inasemaje? 1 2 So nini kina kusort? Fire. That's it. Na, na wewe ni chumvi. Bidas makubwa ni nini? Chumvi. But bidas makubwa everyone will be sorted with the fire. ile test yako ile hali yako ya kupreserve mambo kile kinakusaidia is the fire of god fire of god that's benefit number 1 najaribu kukimbia kwa sababu nina point mingi sana hapa kama 10 so nisipo kuelezea hapa utakuta kwamba watu wa group ya pili wataingia before nimalize nataka nimalize hii so number 1 kuna ile test tunaipokea kwa sababu moto na kusaidia wewe mwenyewe kupata ile test kwa sababu wewe ni chumvi number 2 number 2 oh my god fire of god sets you a grow with the fiery radiance and zeal the fire of god gives you zeal that zeal unapata zeal Angalia Romans Romans 2 verse number 11. Moto wa Mungu anakupea zeal. Usiye na kwamba mtu sasa ameanza kujitolea. Usiye na kwamba dada imejazwa na roho mtakatifu. Dada ilikuwa haiogei. Dada inaanza kuongea. Yaani nimepata zeal now. Eh? Tusome 1 2 3. Eh? Eh but and burning with it. That's a thing. So fire of the holy spirit moto roho mtakatifu nakupea that zeal to serve ile zeal ya kutumika unapata through the fire of the holy spirit unakuta kwamba unauliza pasta ni wapi naweza tumika pasta naweza kuja asubuhi nipange viti is a zeal umepewa unapo pasta nataka nataka unisaidie ni mimi nataka kuwa nafagia na huku nje it is a zeal umepewa na nini moto wa roho mtakatifu ukianza kuwaka moto wewe moyo wako unataka kutumika tu unataka kutumika So do you have that zeal? Hi. <laughs> Unakuta kwa unataka kutumika. Number 3. Number 3. <laughs> the fire of the Holy Spirit revives your spirit. Revives your spirit. Spirit yako inakuwa revived. Revives your spirit. Angalia Act chapter number 18 verse 25. Act chapter number 18 verse number 25. Alafu niwekee amplified amplified inaitoa vizuri sana hapo. Hey hey. La cause of variation. Hai hebu tusome. Haya kwanza 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 ili understand hebu wawekee kwanza first wawekee eh, NIV or King James then ukuje na amplified. <laughs> okay okay 1 2 3 wewe keki James wewe keki James have to so many niki James ime imetoka na neno imeweka hapo haijaweka kwa hivi ehe ah sawa ndio hiyo sasa ehe and being vibrant in there angalia that is for the spirit there haina capital s in a small s na wakati tunasoma kwa babu nakuta kwamba ni small s inasimamia you are spirit ndani yako but wakati ina capital s inasimamia holy spirit so hapa ile small s inaonyesha kwamba ni spirit yake ni spirit yake so spirit yake spirit yake so now tuweke amplify bible amplify bible oh shakarabo karabosha eh angalia sasa Burning with the spiritual eh eh accurate things concerning eh eh so that's what tunasema moto roho mtakatifu ndani yako una revive your spirit your devotion your acceleration to your obedience by the way unaanza kutii unaanza kufanya kile ambacho umeitoa kufanya maana spirit yako imekuwa revived your spirit inakuwa revived may that be a portion in the name of our lord jesus christ Number 4 Number 4 Number 4 don't miss this one 
Don't miss this one number 4. Kwa nini unahitaji moto wa Roho Mtakatifu? Shakara boza bosha. Moto wa Roho Mtakatifu una purify. Purify. It purifies your life. You've been purified. Moto una purify. Moto una purify. Angali Isaiah 6. Isaiah chapter number 6 verse 5. Tuanzie hapo tuone vile baba anasema. Hebu tuangalie Isaiah vile alifanya. Anasema namna gani? Oh to me eh. I cried eh. I'm ruined eh. Hey, for I am a man of eh hey, and eh hey, hey, ana, ana problem ya kuongea kwake. Alafu anasemaje? And then angalia verse number 6 now. Then one of the sellers, eh? Eh, kali na moto. Aka kwenye mkono wake akafanya nini? Akaguza nini? Next verse. So ni nini? Ni nini Isaiah alikuwa anasema kuna problem? Ni kinywa chake. Ni nini kiliguzwa na moto? Kinywa chake. Sakiri poguzo what happened angalia Ari poguzo kabuaje see this has eh you are eh does it Ngali mwenza kumwambia unahitaji kuguzwa na kaa la moto Mm unakuta kubona naongea naongea na yale mambo anaongea si mambo mazuri Anasema angalia tu hebu tu again verse number 5 again verse number 5 again Anasema eh ni nini kina problem for i am a man of unclean eh yeah. sema ni kinywa chake kina problem so isaiah problem ni kinywa i know kuna watu boko mikono yao ni problem kwa sababu mkikorofana na wao mikono yao ni problem lazima watakutapa mikono ina problem so hao ah, wanahitaji waguzwe na moto kwa mikono wanapo na tusi watu hao wanastahili tu waguzwe kwa kinywa what about watu bwana penda kuangalia video baya hao wanafaa kuguzwa wapi <laughs> It is my prayer. Ya kwamba moto wa Roho Mtakatifu utafanya kazi kuondoa kile kimaya. Yaani unakuwa purified by the fire. Hivyo ndivyo kunifanyika mahali. Pana ngani another point. Another point. <laughs> point ya ngapi? Oh, the fire of the Lord warms your heart. Nakoza warms your heart. Ule moto 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 moto. Angalia in the book of Luke 24. Luke 24. Verse number 232. It warms your heart. Eh, tusome pamoja 1 2 3. They asked each other we are not our hearts burning within us eh well he eh, on the road and so wakati the two disciples are walking on the mouse wakati Jesus Christ alikuwa anafungua nini scriptures anawahubiria neno na neno ni nini ni moto kwa hivyo wakati alikuwa anawapea neno wanapokea nini moto wakipokea moto ni nini mioyo ilikuwa inafanyika wanasikia wanachomeka ile mioyo yao inapata moto eh mioyo yao mioyo yao if ilikuwa sasa ni cold wanaanza kupokea moto maana wakati neno linafunguliwa mioyo yao inaanza kupokea moto it is my prayer ya kwamba if moyo wako ulikuwa umefunguka na kuna mababa umebeba ilikuwa na kusumbua after this sermon may your heart be warmed by the fire of god in the name of jesus that's it mioyo yao wakaanza kuwaka moto so once you hear the word moyo wako unaanza kupokea next point shakura bazaar nataka sasa unitegee hapa so tuko point ya ngapi tuko point ya ngapi so number six, the fire of god energizes your will energizes the will energizes the will and don't miss this one to fadari 
Angalia Psalms 119 verse number 28. Psalms 119 verse number 28. Psalms, I have only three minutes. I have three minutes to go. Three minutes to go. Psalms 119 verse number 28. Ebe tuweke King James. King James kuna vile ime to vizuri sana. Ehe. Ebu soma ya. Ya. Ehe. My soul does what? Ehe. Strength down me according unto thy so kwa nini kuna sema kwamba kwa strength na word? Kwa sababu David remember alikuwa anajua kwamba neno ni nini? Moto. So akipokea lile neno sasa na neno ni moto. Ni nini kitafanyika ndani yake atakuwa energized, strengthened. Maana wakati you receive the fire of God, you are being energized. And it's giza. I believe kila mtu anajua huyu mwanamke ambaye alikuwa ametokwa na damu kwa miaka 12. Then akasikia juu ya Yesu Kristo na kasema kwamba atamfuata nyuma ili at least aguze upinde wa vazira yake. So alikuwa anasema na maana gani? Au touch. Au touch the hem. Au touch. Hebu ngine mwanzo kumwambia touch. Au tu kadalikuwa anasema na maana gani touch? Let me help you. The Greek meaning here what the touch there is to connect with the fire. That what the touch there in Greek means to connect with the fire. So vile huyo mwanamke alikuwa anasema, alikuwa anasema kwamba Jesus Christ amebeba moto. Although kuna hii hali imenisubua for so long. Although kuna hii damu imemwagika for so long. I am a God who menisubua for so long. What I need is only connection with the fire. That's what alikuwa anasema kwamba I will connect na fire. And I will touch. The word touch there means to connect with the fire. So na wakati alikuza, aliconnect na moto. What happened? Magodi yake disappear. Maana there is no way unaweza connect na moto wa Jesus then you remain the same. I declare because of the fire of God, magodi yote yanakusumbua. What I on dock in the name of Jesus. That's it. So next point kwa haraka sana. Because of time. Number 7, number 7. It diffuses the fellowship. It diffuses the fellowship. Fuses the fellowship. Wale kwa understand Bible, you understand. Wakati kuna chuma, unaichoma. Na lafu ile chuma, unaikichoma na moto. Kuna ile mchanga inekoma halipale. Ukichoma ule mchanga, unanguka. Then ile chuma inashika mana vizuri sana wakati unaichoma. Oh you understand that iko kuna chuma mahali hapa kuna hii piece ya chuma na hii ingine hapa uzileta pamoja uzitome nini zitafanya zitaingiana So wakati kuna moto umeanza kuwaka kile kina happen fellowship inakuwa farm kanisa Kama vile chuma hii chuma na hii ingine ikiwekwa kwa moto ina melt inakuwa kitu kimoja zilikuwa ni tano but zikiwekwa kwa moto zinakuwa kitu kimoja zimeletwa pamoja na moto so moto wa Mungu una strengthen the fellowship that fellowship whether ni yako na Mungu whether ni ya kanisa inakuwa farm that fellowship moto unasaidia fellowship kuwe farm next there so many verses so sijari utaziona tu zimewekwa kwa facebook wewe fuatilia tu hapo next one <laughs> it illuminates the mind it illuminates the mind it illuminates the mind it illuminates the mind remember to know kwamba moto wa mungu unaleta light eh to know kwamba pillar of fire usiku that pillar ilikuwa inaleta nini light so once wakati mahali kuna moto kuna ile light unaipokea that light in a, in illuminate your mind illuminate your mind hiyo ni ngapi So nine, the last one. It burns your conscience. 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 Hizo zingine for hakisha kwamba umeingia kwa group yetu kuna hizo point huwa zinawekwa vizuri sana na hata those verses zitakuwa mahali pale. So don't miss kuangalia kwa hiyo group. Ifa huko kwenye group ya chat hakisha kwamba umeingia zitawekwa mahali pale vizuri sana. Maana kitemu yangu imeisha. Watendi tusimame.